So today in your English class, I am your teacher Anupriya. We will be learning about adjectives. Surprisingly, you wouldn't know, but you use them every day in your life. How so? Let's find out. Let's learn what adjectives are. Adjectives are words that describe a noun in a sentence. They are essential when we speak English that give us information about the noun used in a sentence. Adjectives add meaning to a sentence. They are a part of a bigger group of words called the modifiers. Next, what are the uses of the adjectives? There are various kind of adjectives, but what defines the adjectives are the nouns. Since adjectives use different kinds of nouns, we'll be learning about them as well. So what are nouns and what are its kind? You must have learned that nouns are of many types. Example, the common noun, proper noun, gender noun, countable and uncountable noun as well. Well, all of these nouns are used while we try to identify the adjectives in a sentence. The common noun being the city, day, table, movie. Your proper noun being New York, India, John. Pronouns as she, they, her. Gender noun is cow, princess, hero. Countable and uncountable noun include number, digits, or often used as much, many, enough. So how do you identify an adjective in a sentence? Supposingly, you have this example as the girl is nice. So what do you understand what the adjective could be in this sentence? Well, when you say the girl is nice, we're talking about the girl, so she is the subject over here. So what are we trying to tell about her? That she is nice. So nice could be an adjective while we are trying to describe the subject, the girl. The next example, my students are happy. So what is the subject over here? My students. So what am I trying to tell about the students? That they are happy. Happy being the adjective over here. Adjective describe a subject, usually a noun or a pronoun. There are certain ways in which an adjective quantifies, describes or tell us about. There are certain ways or we could use the adjectives in a sentence. So while we try to describe or quantify a noun in a sentence, there are various ways which are the first. The quality or the opinion, for example, delicious, beautiful, good. For the size, we could say tall, short, big. For age, we could use old, young, new, elder. For shape, round, oval, square. For color, red, pink, green or any other color. Origin, India, Korean, Mexican. Materials could be gold, wooden, glass. Purpose could be, for example, uh, sport, coffee. So these were the few examples in which you could use an adjective. Could be first, Sheena is a young girl. Here, the subject being Sheena is a girl and we're trying to tell her age that she is young this is a tall tree tall being the adjective over here since we are defining tree by its height it is a pink panther we are telling about its color so it could be an adjective too similarly the rest of them my hair is black the weather is sunny they have six cars, that book is from India, and they have got great ideas. All of these words, young, tall, pink, Indian, black, sunny, many, six, and great are the examples of adjectives in a sentence. 
So let's practice some of these sentences by using an appropriate words bracket. For example, the first one. That is a dash house. We have to try and define its quality. What could you use for a house? You could use a quality like nice house, big house, beautiful house. Next, he looks dash in that shirt. Quality. We are talking about the quality of a person, how he looks when he wears that shirt. You could use nice or handsome, smart. These are also an examples. So why not let's practice the rest of them. India is a dash country. You have to use the size over here. That is a dash cake. Size. I have dash pencil with me. Number. I bought dash dresses yesterday. My grandmother is too dash. My sister is dash than me. Her brother has dash color pants. My neighbor has got a dash table. So I'm sure quite a lot of you would have gone what it means to define an adjective in a sentence when we're talking about the quality, size, origin, material, etc. So let's move on to our next topic in adjectives. Since we talk so much about the nouns being used in an ad while trying to describe the adjective, we could also say that an adjective can be placed before or after a noun. So there are two types, the predicative adjectives. Here, when the adjective is placed before the noun, it modifies. We have a sentence over here, looks expensive. Here, your watch is what? It's in subject. An expensive tells about the watch, so it becomes the adjective. Since the adjective came after the subject, that is why we call it the predicative adjectives. So the next one is the attributive adjective. When the adjective is placed after the noun modifies. For example, that's an expensive watch. Expensive being the adjective and watch being the subject. That's right. So when these, these adjectives change their places in a sentence. So while you try and understand, have a look of these examples and you'll know better. Sheena is a young girl. This is a tall tree. I am an Indian woman. My hair is black. Do you see anything common in here or is there a difference? Like we learned about the predicative and the attributive adjectives here. Sheena is a young girl. This is a tall tree and it is a pink panther are examples of my hair is black. He has got such great ideas. Can you differentiate? Yes, there is a difference of predicative and attributive adjectives in them. The differentiation is the placing of the adjective before and after the noun. So now that you understand how adjectives play a major role while forming, let's move forward and understand the types of adjectives that we use in a sentence. We have the first type over here, the qualitative adjective. So what do you understand by the word qualitative? Quality, right. When we are talking about the quality of an adjective, we understand that it is a qualitative adjective. A qualitative adjective describes the size, the shape, the color, or the attribute of a person or a thing in a sentence. A few examples with us. Examples. What a beautiful horse. I never wear a blue shirt. 
He has a broken pencil. The clever girl fooled the boy. She is a successful person. He speaks fluently. The quality being here in these examples are beautiful, blue, broken, clever, successful and fluently. All of them tell us about the quality of the thing, an idea or a person. That is how you identify a qualitative adjective. The next type we have is the quantitative. What do you understand by quantitative? Well, the quantitative adjective, how it sounds, quantity. It tells about the quantity of a noun. It could be countable or an uncountable noun. We have a few examples to help you understand better what are the quantitative adjectives. She has 10 books with her. The exam was taken by 78 candidates. It gives me much pleasure to invite you to my house. They planted many trees in the garden. Kyra ate the whole burger. I have enough food with me today. The words over here, 10, 78, much, whole, many. Enough are the words that are used as about the quantity, being it uncountable or countable. Read the sentences again and you'll understand better. She has 10 books with her. The exam was taken by 78 candidates. It gives me much pleasure to invite you to my house. They planted many trees. Kyra ate the whole burger. I have enough food for me today. So these were for the few examples. Are you are able to understand better? Let's do some practice that will make you learn better. In this exercise, you have to identify the types of adjectives that are there in these sentences. You have to read them one by one very carefully and identify the adjectives over here, being it quantitative or qualitative. Do keep in mind the quantitative ones that tell us about the quantity and the qualitative ones tell us about the quality over here. So the first one, he has 40 horses. Since 40 describes the number or tell us how many horses does he have in quantity in under quantitative adjectives. The next one, the first boy failed in his test. First being a number over here comes again under quantitative. The next one, the second world war was devastating. Second again being the number so it comes under quantitative the next one i saw a flying eagle flying over here tells us about the subject so flying becomes a qualitative it's telling about the quality i have a fast car fast telling us again about the quality you should have completed the task comes under quantitative adjective. Most people are healthy in this world. Most being the adjective over here. That's right. It comes under quantitative. Give me that blue big history book. It tells us about the quality. So it comes under qualitative adjective. The last one. Please pass me my broken pencil as I am only left with one out of many. What could be this one? Well, to tell you guys another fact is that 
There can be many adjectives in a sentence. I could use two or three or four adjectives in a whole sentence. Over here in this example, we used one, broken, many. All these three come under both qualitative and quantitative adjectives. Hope this lesson was helpful for you. So let's do a quick recap so you understand the adjectives and their uses. First, the adjectives tell us about the nouns. They give us information about the nouns. They make the sentences more meaningful. They help us in speaking English. They can be of two types, predicative and attributive. What are the types of adjectives? Quantitative and qualitative. And do remember to use these adjectives in your daily life so you get a better practice and you understand better the next time you spot an adjective anywhere in a sentence or a conversation. Have a good day learning.